Okay, so I've got an example here. We have an IV that contains 1,000 milliliters of dextrose in saline solution with a drop factor of 20 drops per milliliter, and it's been set to run for six hours, and we want to find the rate of flow in drops per hour. So our goal is to get drops per hour. So I've got 20, or excuse me, I've got 1,000 milliliters, okay, and I want it at over six hours, right? That's being administered over six hours. Um, but I want it to be not in milliliters, but in drops per hour. So I've got, I've got milliliters per hour. I want drops per hour. And I know it takes 20 drops to make one milliliter for my solution. So if I multiply by 20 drops, per milliliter, what's going to happen to my milliliters? Right, they're going to cancel out. If you'd accidentally put your milliliters on the top, you would see that they don't cancel out, and oops, you need to switch things around, right? You need to flip that. So, milliliters cancel, and I've got 1,000 times 20, and then divide that by 6, and it'll give you 3,333.33333, but we can't have part of a drop. So we just round to the nearest whole drops. Um, so that would be drops per hour. So there we have it. If you wanted to change it into drops per minute, what would you do? You would just create a conversion factor for changing hours to minutes. So we would take the 3,333 drops per hour, and we know it takes six. Uh, 60 minutes to make an hour, but look, my hours don't cancel out, right? That's not going to work, so what do I have to do? I need, I should have put the hours on the top. Usually, you put on top what you want to have, but look, we want the minutes to actually be in the bottom here. So, we're going to put the hours on the top and the 60 minutes on the bottom. Our hours are going to cancel like we want, and we just do 3,333 divided by 60, and that's going to give us our drops per minute if we wanted in drops per minute. But here they asked us for in drops per hour, so this is our answer, and we're completely done.